That'll be the same day they remove. This is a common law country, and these are common law courts off their website. And it'll says we're now under a civil law, civil code country. There you go. When we turn to France, there you go. When you turn to France, everything I said, throw out the freaking window and go find a common law land. There's only there's only like maybe I think they said there's a little I think they said about 183 countries in the world, maybe 200 depending on what you call a country. Um, there's only about 10 or 12 common law countries left in the world. Everything else, you could everything I said, you could just throw out the window because they have to do it because the the government believes that they have control over a man and the people don't revolt and people say okay is for the greater good. Okay, because it's basically, you got to understand, most other countries are uh, homogenous. They're just, uh, they're just, uh, they're like all French or they're all uh, Japanese. And they're, they're all like, okay, it's all for the greater good. You know, 99, uh, yeah, 99% of the people in Japan are Japanese. They're like, okay, it's for the greater good. We're all one big family. Okay, it's for the greater good. But in this country, you're like, oh, no, we're so diverse and scary. There's so many different nations and tribes and cultures running around this, this land. It's scary. So to get everybody to agree on something, <laughs> that's, that's going to be interesting. How they're going to ever conquer this country. I don't know how the hell they're going to do that. Everybody's got a different custom. Everybody's got a different system of belief. Like I said, take O.J. Simpson down to Long Beach, and he's going to walk. You take him up to Hollywood or Brentwood, California, he's going to lose. Fine. It's a different belief system, a different culture. The jury's going to find him not guilty in this part of town, and he's going to find him guilty under the same damn example, same damn exhibit, same damn everything on the other side of town. Why? It's just a common law country. Now, if it's civil, he's going to be found guilty. I don't care if he does the crime here, he does it in France. He's still guilty. Civil is civil. It's uniform, one world order, one world code. No matter where you go, in a civil, civil society in a civil land you, you, you know it's funny man it's fun watching that uh, I don't remember that girl's name man now but it was fun watching that girl in Italy that girl from uh, Seattle whatever it was I can't remember her name off the top of my head but her parents came back and said man everything's backwards they said uh, she had to prove she wasn't guilty they said the cops came and said nobody else could have done it but her uh, that's what her name is uh, uh Amanda Knox. Amanda Knox something. I think it was Amanda Knox. I know her last name was Knox. Cynthia Knox, Cindy Knox, Amanda Knox, something like that. But her parents came back and said, holy crap, in a civil code world, you're guilty. And you have to prove that you're innocent. They said it's completely backwards. Then they were like, during the O.J. Simpson trial, Marsha Clark had to prove O.J. was guilty. Well, if, if O.J. did this in, in Italy, or in a civil code world, well, Marsha Clark would have said, there's no doubt about it, he's guilty. Uh, my word is my bond. I said, I'm the prosecutor with the state. All Everybody in the country says that he's guilty. Now, prove you didn't do it. So it was funny that poor Amanda Knox girl, she had to say, yeah. they were like, well, it happened at 3 o'clock in the morning, and the cops said, and when she got to court, it's like, what, what do you mean? You didn't hear you, 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 your roommate screaming? Anybody would have heard her screaming. You know, she was strangled for like 73 minutes. You, you tell me you didn't hear her screaming? It's like, no, I didn't hear her screaming. See, in this country, you just say, no, I didn't hear her. And they go, oh, okay, next question. Over there, it's like, oh, well, you're lying. You know what? Anybody would have heard her. You're guilty. You're going to jail. It's like, what? What? I told you I didn't hear you. Well, you know what? We think you're lying. We, heard, we, we figured you heard her. <laughs> So like I said, thank God we still live in the country in a nation that uh, still has common law and the customs of the jury that we're going to sit in front of. They're our judges. And for however long we're going to be uh, allowed to have such a wonderful uh, culture, you know, I'm grateful as hell. Because I was telling that to Larry the other day. I said, you know what, did you ever watch that Will Smith movie about Muhammad Ali? And uh, I said, man, they did a real disservice to Muhammad Ali and to this country. At the end of the movie, at the end of the movie, they stop with Will Smith, uh, Muhammad Ali uh, beating uh, George Foreman and Zaire. I said, why didn't they roll the film for another five minutes? Because when Muhammad Ali landed in JFK, the first thing he did when he came off and stood on a tarmac is he got on his knees and he kissed the ground. And 
the newspaper reporters were all over there and they said, oh, what do you think of the great motherland or fatherland, the great Zaire, the great continent of Africa? What do you, what do you feel about the great, the great people and the culture and the civilization? He said, he said to the Times reporters and news, uh, New York Post reporters there at JFK, he says, I don't know who the man was who shackled my grandfather and threw his ass on a slave ship and dragged his ass over here kicking and screaming. God bless that man. Because those folks back in Africa, they are crazy. This is a wonderful nation, this is a wonderful land, and it's a bunch of wonderful people. He said, God bless America. That's how they should have ended the movie. That's how they should have ended that Muhammad Ali movie. Because I was a kid when he landed and I saw that on the news. That really impressed me when that man realized the difference between Africa and America. Even though he's black, even though he was raised to believe that, oh, you know, dragging over here and a slave and all that was so horrible and evil. He's like, God bless that man who ever made my grandpappy get on that boat. God bless that man. Because I live in a wonderful land with a lot of opportunities. And it's all what you want to make of yourself. So I wish they'd roll the film just a tiny, tiny bit further. And then ended it. And then it probably would have raised up all the black folks who were in the movie theaters watching it and saying, oh my God, we do really have opportunities in this nation, don't we? It isn't as bad as people make this out to be, is it? We're not victims if we don't wish to be. So it would have been nice if they just rolled it just a little bit further. But, you know, they got their agenda. For some reason, they they stopped the film before he landed in JFK. I was really disappointed. I was like, oh, wow, this is the scene where he's going to come into JFK airport. Oh, wow. And then they start rolling the credits. I was like, oh, my God. Huh. What a ripoff. What a disservice to everybody around the world watching this movie. I said, this, this is a shame.